Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do a quick little read. Okay, so this reading is a little different. I've got all four of the elements pull, water, earth, fire, and air. I'm going to pull two cards for each element and try to get the situation, the love situation uh, that Taurus is dealing with. Okay, all right, so let's get two cards for my Taurus dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, two cards, two cards. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Remember to comment below. It automatically enters you to win a free reading. Okay. All right, got the Ace of Sword dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Might be a new start or cutting away of in regards to uh, communication coming in. You may speak your truth or something may be found out. Yeah, Queen of Cups again. Somebody dealing with the Cancer in particular. Um, it could be any water sign, but that's Cancer. Uh, some truth and clarity in regards to dealing with a Cancer person, male or female. Um, it might be, like I said, it could be a new start. It could be a cutting away of. And it can go either way. Um, you may find out something, you know, that causes you to have to start anew. This type of communication comes in and it's called the Ace of Sword. Of, of course, the sword is about word, spoken word, and truth. Some truth, some clarity comes in for you in regards to maybe this particular person. Um, you can no longer think the same way. You can no longer do the same thing. You can. That would be insane. But this type of truth comes to you so you can find clarity, so you can move forward and possibly do something different. So that's what's going on with uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, uh, King of Earth and Queen of Earth. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Ten of Cups. Dealing with another Earth sign. Nice, family life, children, happiness. And then the Eight of Pentacles. So some of you are just really trying to perfect your craft. Some of you are, you could be self-employed. Um, you, you're the breadwinner in your, in your household. Um, male or female um, what else this okay, I'm sorry I had to turn these cards around okay. yeah you could be just really trying or some of you are trying to work on the family unit trying to establish or reestablish the happiness the, the happy life some of you are taking trips with your family really putting the time and effort into into um, maintaining the stability and the longevity of this relationship so that's where my Taurus dealing with other Capricorn Virgo Taurus nice all right my Taurus dealing with fire signs Aries Sagittarius Leo all right what's going on with Taurus dealing with fire signs Six of Pentacles, okay? Um, let me get the other card. I mean, the Six of Pentacles would be so much, but I want to see what the other card is first. Your cards, okay. The star, all right. So, some of you are really trying to heal something with um, the Six of Pen with yeah with the Six of Pentacles or with a Fire Sign Aries Sagittarius and Leo, there may have been someone trying to drain you monetarily. You're trying to heal your finances and dealing with the Fire Sign Aries Sagittarius and Leo. They may have put you in a place where you had to rebuild and restart, where you even may have needed some type of payout or charity. You had to go into savings, 401k. You had to do something here, but you had to. Um, find stability again with that six of pentacle um also some of you may be trying to heal the relationship with an aries sagittarius leo trying to get back on the the uh, correct footing with them or the right footing with them uh but it may still be an imbalance here because uh it might be something to do with money um you the stars here says you're on the right path um in re, probably in regards to rebuilding. Uh, I don't know. Get a personal reading with this fire sign, or you know, you just gotta do what's practical. If you're if 
if money matters are an issue or they're kind of jacked up because of another person, then of course you need to work on yourself before you bring this person back. Let's be practical here, people. Um, so that's that's that. All right, King of Air and Queen of Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Dylan, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Queen of Swords comes up. Let me deal with a Gemini in particular. It could be any air sign, but that typically comes up as a Gemini. This could be another female air sign also. Libra um, or Aquarius. Queen of Air. Queen of, Queen of Swords. Somebody is exacting and demanding truthful communication. Uh, they won't stand for anything. They're also cutting something out because they feel like it's a waste of time, energy, effort. Let's see. Knight of Pentacles. Alright, Taurus, this could be you wanting to offer this person something really stable, but you see that maybe they're growing cold. They're growing cold. Um, they're distant. Sometimes the Queen of Swords comes up as jaded, divorce. Four of Pentacles, yeah. They're holding tight, holding tight. All right, bottom of the deck, Nine of Wands. Looks like some of you have, you know, you're just really contemplating going back into a situation, contemplating the drama, going back and contemplating reaching out to someone with the Eight of Wands. Hmm. It's a lot. Um, that's the overall energy. Uh, with the air sign, it's like, I want to mm. offer you something stable. I don't know if you're going to take to it. You're so cold. You're so calculated. You're so independent. Uh, I'm scared. You know, um, or not scared. I'm more like, I need more time to figure this out. All right, so if this reading resonated with you, Taurus, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Request a personal reading. All of my information is below. Follow me on Instagram, Instago. Choose to fund the page by clicking the GoFundMe link. Um, what else is there? Remember to comment below. It automatically enters you to win a free reading. Uh, remember, Taurus, when in doubt, pray. I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care. Until next time.